Oh, that's gonna be cool. Oh, cast it right on top of one. There we go. Oh my god. Big one. Big. With the beaver in the water. Big one. Big bass. Oh. There we go. Good one. Good one. Good one. Hasn't came up yet. <laughs> Larry Got catches him. the biggest right there. bass. <laughs> What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So these past couple of days, I've really been trying to take my time and fish a couple of spots that have been on my mind for a long time. So this spot that we're going to today, I have been thinking about for the past year is literally a roadside creek ditch. Me, my cousin Donnie, and my dad went and fished this spot a couple years ago. There's an alligator there. You going fishing in there? Yeah, I'm about to try it. It's like smack dab in the middle of Alabama where you really wouldn't think alligators are, but they're there. So we're gonna go fish that and then we're gonna go do some other stuff around the area and kind of fish some little local stuff. But I've been thinking about this, it's literally a little creek. It's a small, small ditch. You'll see it when we get to it, if I'm able to find it. And there's an alligator. And anywhere that I've ever fished, one thing that I know about alligators, if there's an alligator, there's normally pretty big fish. One hour later. We are definitely in snake country. I don't even know if snake country is the proper term. We're in like snake heaven right now. So <laughs> we're gonna be, Watching our feet, watching where we step. There's a little creek. A little, maybe not creek, maybe more of a ditch. But we got a whole bunch of rods with us. We've been doing a whole bunch of fishing these past couple of days. All right, so after this, we're gonna probably go hop on the autopilot and fish a few little ponds. Definitely start off with the Ned rig. So this, I have, I'll have to pull it up because I saw the, what? Gave me the inspiration to actually come out here. I saw my Snapchat memories a couple days ago. Me, my dad, and cousin Donnie that I was telling y'all about it, telling y'all about at the house. We came out here, or Donnie got access to a pond that was, you know, kind of like a little small pond close to over here. And we came to that pond, and and this is probably this day I'm talking about is probably like four or five years ago. Came to the pond, caught a whole bunch of fish, like probably one of the best days of fishing I had ever had to that point. And this is like four or five years ago, so I haven't gained access. I haven't been able to, you know, go fish like a true, true pond. I'm fishing the same pond every day, catching the same old fish. Go to this pond, catch a whole bunch of dinks, like probably catch 30 or 40 fish a piece. Like best day of fishing, but I probably didn't catch a fish over a pound all day. So after that happens, yeah, I'm about to try it. Yep. Come on, make them one on the See it move. Yep. Ooh. Some of them move. Yep. No, I haven't. All right, a big one. All right, I'll look out for them. Okay. Are they out during the day like this normally sitting? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stand up on the side of the road over here. Yeah. <laughs> usually be right out there by that boat. Yes, I. See, well, that tells the story for you. Well, we're gonna see today if we can see the gator. And if we can, we're gonna uh, happy Gilmore the gator. He tries to take this Ned rig. That's gonna be interesting. Oh, this would probably be, oh, there's a huge gar right there. This is such a cool spot. I mean, just like one of those places where its possibilities are endless. Y'all might be able to see that on the camera. I'm looking at two little fish swimming over there. There's a gar. Never knew that there were gar down here. Honestly, don't know too much about alligators, but I have hooked one on accident on a frog in Florida. That was my first and only time ever hooking an alligator. I'm surprised that, I'm sure this water isn't the warmest water in the world because I just had to pull some grass off my net rig. So I'm surprised that the alligator isn't actually out. Um, hopefully he's not currently sneaking up on me because that would be pretty, would be pretty tragic. Okay, nothing on this side. I feel like we should have got bit by now. We're gonna give it a couple more casts. Try it, just get some little short casts of some of the pads in here. I'm not sure how often this spot's been fished. Cause this is my third time out here. I've never seen a gar, seen the alligator one time. Wanted to come and try. I think, I'm pretty sure we've caught at least one fish out of here. Okay, as of right now, I have seen zero signs of life except for that gar we saw when we first got out here. Which is weird, because you would think this thing would be full of life. I mean, it has pads on it. Like these pads over here look good. Do you think there'd be fish all in the pads hanging out? 
but that is not the case. At least not right now. Bro, bro. Oh, there's a frog right here on the street sign. So I'm not the first person with this idea. It's definitely a frog in there. I'll leave that be. Somebody might come back looking for that. So I wouldn't call this spot unsuccessful necessarily. We tried it, we gave it 30 minutes, didn't catch anything. We saw a big gar and we saw a couple very, very small bass. Just by the looks of it, I do think this place gets fished often. There's a frog in the pole over there. There's a couple cans of worms down there and like some plastic and whatnot in the water. Also, this would probably be an amazing magnet, magnet fishing spot. I bet you could probably catch fish out of it. We are out here slap dab in the middle of the day in the middle of pretty warm weather, so. Probably pretty dormant right now, reasons why the alligator and all that isn't out. But sure if we come back in the evening, we'll catch some. But we're gonna go try some other spots. We might see if we can't find another place like that because I know I've seen a few more on this road. I just can't remember because this isn't like an everyday travel road for me. But we're gonna hop in the truck and talk to y'all at the next fishing spot. What's going on, guys? <laughs> all right. We have made it to the pond. So, long story short, I left a tackle box at that first spot, went back to go get it, like hour round trip. Well, maybe not hour, what time is it? Oh, it's almost four o'clock. About an hour round trip. Um, was able to go back, get the tackle box. The alligator still wasn't there. I was gonna update you on the spot, but I was like, eh, I'm ready to go fish. So, currently three o'clock. Um, we have seen two fish over here on bed. I'm probably gonna let those hang out for a second. So I don't go over there and just go straight and disturb those. Man, this thing got some push to it, some pull. Plan for in here, there is no plan. We're just gonna fish our way around it. Try to stay seated just so we can, just in case there's a few on bed, like we'll stand up and sit down real quick just in case so we don't spook any on bed since those two are like, that's a four and a six pounder over there just hanging out on bed. It's probably gonna be, so there's different coves in the back of this pond. I fished this pond a few times before, different coves in the back. So we'll probably like go pick a cove, spot lock in front of it, and then cast our Texas rig like right up in there and see if we can't pull out any good old big old big mouth bass. So I brought three rods. I have two Texas rig rods and then I have one more with the, small little fritz side on it probably won't throw the fritz side i think since we know that they're on bed i think it's definitely going to be like a more stationary bait day and since those were so big we're going to just start off straight with the big worm this is a big power worm 10 inch worm really when i think about like big worms like this i think about first i think about the movie friday i don't think you apply yourself smoky thank you when i think about a big worm i think about kind of like later in the summer but Right now, seeing after seeing the size of those two over there that were on bed, I don't think a big worm would be a problem. And I feel like a big worm would be a really good way to get a few to eat. Definitely don't feel crazy for throwing this today. Literally, they could be anywhere. So I caught one on Texas rig. I already said that a couple of times. Caught one on Texas rig. Uh, I was just coming out to look at the water just to see what it was looking like. Hooked up on one and then saw these other two over here. So Texas rig really made a lot of sense in my opinion to start off the day with. Then this water is like a weird, like it's pretty dirty, but it's not like super dingy. Like it's just kind of a brown tint to it. It's not, but it has good visibility. That's. Cast it right on top of one, right on top of one, all the way in the back, baby. I think it's a good one too. Oh, did he come off? No, he's swimming towards me, swimming towards me, swimming towards me. Literally right on top of one. Oh, came off. 
Literally right on top of him. Right on his head. Maybe there's another one. <laughs> Dang, that was a good one. Oh, no, we cannot get hung up. I wasn't sure about throwing the slobber knocker just because the two that we have hooked. Oh, my gosh. My mind's literally been all over the place today. Anything that I, like, start get like start to do just doesn't work. Like, I, we didn't catch any fish in the creek yesterday. We got skunked for seven hours. That was such a relief to see that fish. And then it's just like, nope. Ha, ha, you thought, buddy. You thought. It's hard to stay positive sometimes. I always try to stay positive as possible. But, like, after you lose one like that, that was definitely a good one. Beaver dams always mean something good whenever you're bass fishing. So I could pretty much call this one right here. There's a fish back here, 100%. There we go. Oh my gosh, what a hook set. <laughs> oh, Mr. Lipper Ripper Bass, man. Dude, you're not supposed to eat a 10 inch worm. That's one thing about big baits, guys. Like, don't be scared to throw them because, like, this is a big worm. But when it comes to worms, you can catch fish of all sizes. Like, that's not the craziest fish in the world. Definitely looks like he has potential. But that's our first one of the day. Not the first one that we hooked. Nowhere near on that same scale. But hopefully we can upgrade from that one. That one's a fair starting point. Nothing compared to the two that we've already lost today. But thankful for that one though thankful to just catch a fish to get on the board I wonder that first fish we hooked on the slobber knocker that was probably just a luck we cast it right on top of his head i feel like we kind of wasted all that that whole trip we just took because i've had two bites over here close to this beaver dam oh, there we go. oh my gosh my line broke but i see it come on trolling motor come on let's go let's go we gotta go we gotta go now don't swim all the way off, please. I see it. I don't see it anymore. Oh my gosh. We have such bad luck right now. Guys, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I have been struggling like these past couple of days. Yesterday when I did not catch a single fish. Lost that one over there. We just landed that small one, had a bite over here, lost it. Line snapped right there. I mean, and it's just like, I haven't changed anything. I haven't changed line. That might be part of the problem, but normally I don't have a problem out of my line. Like normally I don't break off, but I've broken off fish this year. This year has been a weird fishing year. I have been fishing a lot more. I will say that. So that's probably why more stuff is kind of starting to happen, but I don't know. It's just weird. It's just been a weird time so far. Probably wasn't my smartest idea just to turn on the trolling motor and go over there that just shows you how loud that dang trolling motor is you know whenever i break off on a fish i just you know everybody probably does it if you care about fishing you probably do it i just always wonder like what if that was a 10 pounder you know what if my hook set was like not hard enough but it was just hard enough to break my line because the fish just didn't move like i'm not saying that that hook set was too hard which it pro probably was probably was too hard just losing fish like that like you know watching your line swim I mean, you get all excited and you get ready to set the hook i think that's probably why my hook sets are so hard because i just get so excited like i see my line start swimming I'm like, oh, 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 oh it's happening <laughs> oh my gosh that's probably why i'm also struggling to catch fish today because i've been talking so much it's one thing you can do with these big worms especially like the big curly tail worms if you have open water you don't have like a moving bait rod already rigged up ready to go you can swim. I have gotten bit a few times swimming just like a big worm like this. Pretty good way to catch fish. Especially if it's weightless, like no weight on the top of it. And you have like lily pads or kind of like sparse grass like this. You can just rig a worm weightless or like a 1 16th ounce weight and just swim it over the top. And that's a cool way to get some top water bites. But you got to let them eat it though. That's one thing about it. Like, gosh, I love this kayak, but this mo. I wonder if I can mute the motor. Like if I could turn it down somehow, that'd be so nice.
Big one. Big. With the beaver in the water. Big one. Big bass. Big bass. Big bass. Big bass. Big bass. I was looking at the beaver. Oh my gosh. This is such a good one. Such a big one. Please don't come off. Whatever you do, just stay on. I don't care what you do, honestly. You can pull drag. There it goes the drag pool. Okay. This has been such a good week of fishing. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Just calm down, Seth. Keep the line tight. You're gonna land this fish. Uh, you are going to land this fish. You're not gonna let him jump. You're gonna do everything right. Probably not doing that right. Stay patient. That's such a good fish. Oh my gosh. It's not a seven, but I mean, after the day we've been having today, it's a good one. We're gonna have to retie after this one. Stop, stop, stop. What does Larry do? Oh, he was not going nowhere. Yeah, buddy. Whew, that was so much fun, but that stressed me out so bad. <laughs> I was like, whatever I do, I just can't lose it. <sighs> Let's go. Boom, little side hint for you, Mr. Mr. Edwin Evers himself taught me this. Whenever you hold a fish, shake them a little bit whenever you're taking a picture to make those fans on the top stand up. Make them just look a hair bigger. All right, we're gonna get a little weight on you. Mr. Bass, and then we're gonna put you back. Three, four, I think that's fair. Definitely spawned out. Yeah, definitely already done the Definitely already done the spawning deal. Awesome, thank you, sir. Oh my gosh. Did you get it? Yep. Got him. Oh, not a big one. <laughs> hey, there we go. On the weightless general. It's fish number one. Pretty nice eat. You got some type of like gum disease or something all right there's another beaver dam fish so i've had two bites on this weightless general this is a technique that i really don't do too often or i don't do it as enough for sure because sometimes like on slick calm days they won't eat a weightless texas rig for whatever reason i don't know i'm not a bass but sometimes when it's like dead calm like this no wind sometimes you just have to go something that's like super subtle i mean if you don't want to drop down to like a lightly weighted ned rig Sometimes just that natural fall and the natural wobble of like a general is just what they want. Well, it's one of those things you can always get bites on, but not all the time thing for me. It's more like when I think about it or when I've tried two or three other things and it doesn't work, it's not necessarily my first. I really love to weight it because I can cast a weighted one a little bit farther, just a little bit, not too much farther. I mean, might get extra 10 feet out of a weighted. It would depend on what size the weight is, but you can sling this one too. All right, we're about to have to go. See, and also how I just caught that when I was reeling on top of the grass, like I was talking about earlier, about how sometimes you can, like I'd prefer to do it like a curly tail or like Zoom makes like a U-tail worm. And it almost acts like a prop, like on a whopper plopper and it'll displace a little bit of water. You can do it on like little sparse grass like that, or you can do it in like open water, like casting the back of that pocket and trying to keep it alongside of one of those weed lines would be a really good place to try it. But whenever you do it, like I would want to cast kind of like parallel with the weed line and bring it down the weed line. Or if you're in just like a field of grass, just bring it down the grass. And if you have one, eat it, but you don't feel the weight of the fish, 
drop it in the pocket that I ate it out of. So like, say I cast it right here and then like say one eats it like right there, I drop it in the pocket, if that makes sense. Whew, how many fish do we have? Three? What does that make? Three, two out of this spot right here and then one three pounder. Not a bad day. Never met at a good old three pounder. All right, so for the rest of the day, the plan is, as of right now, to go throw a buzz bait in a different lake. See if we can just catch a really big one. I've been thinking about this for a while now. I'm like, yeah, you know, I wouldn't mind catching a 10, 15 pounder. I feel like I wasn't like truly true to myself the whole year last year. Like we really didn't do too much bank fishing. Yeah, where I was at last year, I really couldn't do too much bank fishing. Like we fished in this pond last year a lot, a lot, a lot. Like probably majority of our videos were filmed like over here. So um but this year i've been trying to like make sure i incorporate more bank fishing and whatnot because that's what got me started and now that i've been doing it, i kind of i really love being on this kayak and having kayaks is so much fun and it has its place but like majority of my fishing i'd say like it'd be 75 or eh, it'd be 60 40 for me as far as bank fishing i love kayak turns which we're gonna get into saturday today's thursday so kayak turns tournaments are coming up but as far as just like going out and having fun and fishing I really love kayaks, but if I can walk a bank, I like walking bank. I'll say all that to say, or to ask, what's your favorite type of video? Do you like when we are, when I'm, you know, on the bank fishing, or do you prefer to see kayak? I've been trying to keep it like a fair mix this year. I feel like I've been doing a little bit more bank fishing than I have. I'm not sure if I'm just really OCD or this motor doesn't track super straight. Also, my rudder isn't down. Maybe if I put the rudder down, the boat will track a little bit straighter. But I don't see how people like with bass boats do this because I guess you're controlling with your foot so you can do a little bit more on the fly. But I still haven't been able to get this thing to line up perfectly, especially like with the bank changing and stuff. It's almost like you need like the autopilot to be like a true autopilot and like read the bank for you and say like, hey, I want to stay six feet away from the bank at all times and it keeps you there. Ooh. Oh, that was a small one. I tried to eat it though. That's a good sign. horrible hook set i was face i was turned the opposite way first of all <sighs> had one never felt them just saw my line swimming turned the opposite way just saw it saw that little piece of wood right there it's like might as well try it right, we have got to oh my gosh what was that That scared it. <laughs> if that was a bass, that might flip my kayak. I have, I, have, I have zero idea what that possibly could have been. There's no way that was a fish. There we go. Good one, good one. Good one, hasn't came up yet. Definitely a good one. Yep, good one. Aha! Good one, and I cut my finger with the line, but I can't feel it cause my adrenaline's pumping. Let's go. <laughs> oh, we hooked him up under the chin. Got barely inside the mouth. Boom, baby, let's go. It has been a day. 
that one's still kind of fat it's like if it's spawning it might not be quite there yet let's go let's go let's go it's just getting to that point where it's like is this even worth it like should i just hang it up and go home but i think i'll tell you is never quit never give up on a fishing day because i mean if they're in there they'll bite i was i've been getting bites all day it's just been so slow though like or it's not it hasn't even it's not even that it's been slow because i could be at four fish in this pond right now it's just i've been messing up straight up like that the bugs out here today are crazy finally 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 hooked up it's a nice two pounder just for just because we're gonna weigh it two five six so uh, hey that used to be oh two five two I was about to say 256 used to be my area code, baby. 256, stand up. <laughs> a little two pounder. So we got a three and a two today. Oh, that's going to be cool. Back in the kayak. <laughs> I couldn't say it fast enough. I was like, he's about to do something cool because he wasn't going down. He just had his mouth up like. <laughs> Dan's move of the century right there by that bass. He was like. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. I was just starting to get doubtful. I was about to stop doing what I've been doing because I've been fishing around the grass the whole time. I've been out here and my two good bites came kind of like more in the middle around structure. So I was like, maybe I'm wasting my time doing this. But I mean, there's just so much grass out here and it all just looks so good. Like this is one of those ponds that like you look at everything and it's like, oh, that looks good, that looks good, that looks good. So it's hard to give up on something that you know. It might not be working, but like, it seems like it should be working, you know? Like, there's one somewhere doing what you think that they should be doing, if that makes sense at all. But, yeah, got our first fish, baby. 2-5-2. Two, two. little two-pounder. Hopefully, that will not be our last fish, though. You know what? I don't even want a 7. I want a 12. If we can catch a 12 to end the day, I'll leave if we catch a 12-pounder. <laughs> I gotta figure out like a better operation system with this kayak because I feel like I spook off so many fish. Also, I need to check into the main. Well, I don't want to mess with it too much while I'm out here, but I need to see if I can't turn off the sounds to the trolling motor. Just the beeps. I know you can't turn off like the movement sound. I love fishing a big worm because you can fish them so much. You just cut like an inch or two off the head, just rig it back up. It's like a brand new one. Sometimes, depends on how big the fish you're catching on it. You know, I catch the biggest bass, so. Now I got about three fish per because I'm catching like average four to five pounders on the big one whenever I throw one. All right, we are about to go in, but we are gonna fish, like we're gonna fish this last little stretch to say we made a full loop. We're gonna skip the dam bank. Um, Actually, I don't know if we're gonna skip the dam because the dam's the only type of water. Like the only difference that we haven't tried is like the dam, so. Got him, right there. <laughs> oh, came off my. <sighs> that was so weird because he was swimming beside the kayak. And I was like, I'm trying to reel my worm in, but it just keeps following me. No. Dang. I was kind of asking to lose that fish because I was just trolling, trying to slow down and whatnot. And. That just wasn't a wasn't a good situation right there. Can't really be too mad about that one. That one's 100% on me. Just like the other 30 that we've missed today. 35. What's that mean? Probably 40 that we've messed up on. There's another one. That's a good one. That's a good one. I haven't even seen them yet. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. That's another one. Oh, that's a really good one. That's the biggest one of the day. Oh my gosh, he has such a big head. I don't think his body really matches. Oh my gosh. Let's 
don't come off. It's just dark enough. I have to look for the V of my line. I can't even really see where my line is. go for a left-handed. I'd love for him to be on the other side if we can take him around. There we go. Okay. Come on. Boom. That might be a four or five pounder to end off the day right there. Let's go. Thank you. Biggest one of the day could have went in i was like i'm just gonna go fish that one stretch one more time and then the thing is we haven't even made it all the way through it yet yeah, a little bloody tail i'm not sure this one spawned out it's kind of in a weird spot like it might be on bed might be spawned out might not be boom baby let's go let's go let's go We are definitely going to get a weight on this one. This one's definitely five. Definitely a five pounder for sure. Okay, we're going four, eight, six. Could be a five pounder. I think if we caught it last week, probably would have been a five. Let's go. Look at this. We'll just say that's a five pounder to end the day, baby. Let's go. Let's go. We still got a little bit more water to fish. I'm not stopping after that. Oh, he's going to do something cool too. Let's go, baby. Check out those clouds right there. That's a cool little shot of those. Cool little group of clouds. All right, it is about dark. We've caught a two pounder, three pounder. That made up for all those fish we've lost today, almost a five. Have we caught a two, three, four, and a five today? I don't know how big that last one was. That one I knew it was big because he wasn't really coming up. Like when they don't come up and like jump at first like that, it's normally a pretty good sign. And it's so weird how we caught like two back to back pretty much in the same spot. Same exact thing, just like trolling down the bank. 